the Joe Rogan experience. But um, that thing in the Congo, man, it's, it's apparently in a very difficult spot to reach. It's very dangerous to go through there. Yeah. You know, when Justin Wren goes through there, he has some hair-raising stories about being held up at gunpoint. You know, oh, yeah. people, people thought they were gonna they were gonna kill somebody. And yeah, they, a lot of the people, a lot of the apparently, a lot of the sort of. Uh, soldiers and people that committed atrocities from the the, uh, the war in Rwanda, kind of in their bands, kind of moved into the Congo and Oof. lived in the in you know in the jungle. And who knows? Who Justin knows? is a, a lot fucking, of crime. Justin Wren is a saint. I mean, yeah, that he guy's, is, he's a, wells. He's a legitimate saint. Yeah, really is. Guy, Great guy, he's gotten malaria three times. God, visiting the Congo and building wells. Unbelievable. It's amazing. Yeah, he told us some amazing stories. Heartbreaking. Yeah. It's know. amazing. The Cash App, um, which is uh, one of my sponsors, also sponsors Fight for the Forgotten. They give people money. They give five dollars every time someone signs up and uses the code Joe Rogan. And they've built a. T they're building wells right now because of that. Really? Yeah. They. They. What was the, the latest number? I forget what the number was. They sent me uh, an updated. Like very early on, they were they had built two wells and then they built a bunch more. And provided water to a, a shit ton of people down there. I don't know the s exact statistics. The guy who wrote Moonwalking with Einstein, uh, what the hell is this? he? It's a b book about memory and stuff. Really smart guy. He lived with the pygmies in the Congo for a long time. Ah, oh, well, and, that's what Justin Wren's doing. It's all yeah, pygmies, and said yeah. that they smoke copious amounts of weed. At least <laughs> the tribes that he lived with. Is that the book? Yeah, jo Joshua Four. Four. Really interesting. What a name. F -O -E -R. Yeah. We are four. Yeah. And I said, I've never like, seen what, what is it, you know, these are people that truly have been almost untouched by Western civilization. And he's like, well, no, I mean, they die of stupid things like, you know, you get an infection. Yeah. And you just, you know, you don't have antibiotics. Well, so a lot of bacteria and parasites and stuff, too. You oh, get yeah. stomach parasites from water. Skin diseases mm -hmm. and weird things like that. Yeah, the jungle's not, even if you've evolved to live in it, yeah. it's not a very... I spent enough time in the Indonesian rainforest. I've never seen bugs like that in my life. <laughs> I've never seen anything like it. Yeah. It's so loud. It sounds like it take the loudest street in Manhattan. And I'm not kidding. That's how loud the insects and birds and everything are. And then you have to carry a bug spray does not work. Did I ever tell you this? The bug spray, yeah. you got to carry a sulfur coil. Yeah. Good luck with the mosquitoes. Bug spray, they laugh at your fucking, at your bug spray. You got to carry a, You have to burn a sulfur coil. And you just carry, holding. hold it while That's you're walking. That's correct. It's, it's certain else, times of the day, like when you wake up, they just they're all over the place. What year was this that you were doing this? Oh God, I was twenty-one. Did they did they have thermocells back then? I don't think so. Yeah, thermocells are the shit. Do you ever use a thermocell? No. What is that? Oh my God, they're they're a fucking game changer. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's um. It's a device that has like a heating coil in it and some fuel, and you ignite it, and the the heating coil it heats up, and you put this little pad across this screen, and this little pad has this stuff in it that mosquitoes hate. It's probably terrible for you. Yeah, some fucking say. chemical. But the chemical wafts up in the air, and I'm telling you, it creates like a ten foot bubble around you where no mosquitoes That's get in. That's great. Yeah, and e look, even if it's a little bad for you, maybe it's like smoking a pack of cigarettes. Yeah. Better than getting yeah. Yeah. fed on. Yeah, I'm not using it every day. I wouldn't recommend using it every day, but if it's the difference between like enjoying, like if you're in a place like uh, Alaska. Alaska. Yeah. Exactly. We're, weren't you, what about Edmonton up there? Yes, you get, same thing. You came back with like, oh, they looked like you. the pox. <laughs> They'll fuck you up, those mosquitoes, fuck. man. Yeah, they, they're so aggressive because they're only alive. For like three months, you know, Jeez. it's so cold up there. Yeah, nature could give a fuck they, about you. Nature could give. A I fuck. love people who are into nature, and they and it, like listen, man. They don't even know what nature is. They yeah, like, go try to go yeah. exactly. Go try to raise crops in uh, South Africa when animals, when elephants were all everywhere. Yeah, and lions and leopards. Or now. Yeah. Even now, if these poor villagers that they they're poor yeah. and they build these crops and they they have this farm and they they, they have all this food for their village yeah. and then elephants roam in. Twenty elephants go, hey man, and that's a wrap. Yeah, you're There's not gonna go. You can get do. the fuck out of here. They're like, yeah. I'll stomp on you. They, I mean, and then people get mad when people shoot the elephants. It's like, okay, I get it, but I don't know what you want here. Like they what, have a lot of stories about elephants. Have this mystique in South Africa. There was this guy who was a farmer. And uh, he had a donkey, and it was tied up. And um, the elephants came into his property, and he shot guns and got them the hell away from there. And then uh, the next day, the elephants came back and stomped his fucking donkey Whoa. into mush. 
Whoa. Just stomped. The donkey was on a you know, rope, and they were like, really? Gang, gang, gang. And wow. then, of course, the other, the neighboring farm when the elephants came, she she laid out a bunch of food for them and the and and they spared her her crops there are all these elephants have mm. this mystique which is all by the way maybe the biggest a-holes in the world elephants they hate everybody but they were so nice i was in thailand i was yeah there's a thai elephant sir they're different african elephants you're not you're not taming an african elephant good luck most of the elephants you see what is this jamie okay jamie's watching like this little buffalo oh, yeah. gets up oh my god yeah elephant came over and rolled it over yeah they don't give a fuck about you it looks you like go. he's trying to stab him he is oh he does he's killing <laughs> so he's killing a baby I don't that's know. a that's probably a full-grown buffalo that's just a giant elephant wow so he's fucking up this buffalo yeah, they're I'm not so the screen, dangerous you're look it up yeah An elephant stabs and kills buffalo look at jesus that. christ well that's why they have tusks yeah I mean that. There it is. You know what's really crazy? God, when when shit. lions take a chance. Wow. I, that was the other video them. I didn't pull. Wow. There's three elephants killing a lion. That elephant just that is killed. the craziest shit. They just killed. That's crazy. Them. What's crazy is lions will take a chance on elephants. No, I know. Which is just so, so nuts. They they will take a chance to try to kill an elephant. They'll jump on their back. They'll try to jack them. Well, when you go to a game reserve in South Africa, you can't. It has to be big enough to sustain lions because it's super expensive because they're just a pride of lions will eat everything. Yeah. So you got to keep replenishing the animals right? because they just, they're just they just too effective. Well, you know, after that <laughs> dentist shot Cecil the lion, and yeah. it became this international outrage. Yeah. They um, banned the lion hunting. And because of that, people didn't want to go back and they weren't getting the money from it. So they wound up euthanizing like 200 lions. I know. Because their undulate population was getting devastated. Mm -hmm. But ma what made me think when I heard that, I was like, how many lions are they killing? Like how many people are going over there to hunt lions? It's, it brings in good money. How I mean, weird is that? A huge part of South Africa's, you know, the, like part of the conservation efforts yeah. are that, you know, big game. You can f you can hunt the big five or whatever they call it. Yes, that's exactly what they call it. But it's, but big, I mean, it's a lot of money. It, it is a lot of money. And it brings them a lot of money. And it brings them a lot of money for conservation and all that stuff. But what a weird activity. Is there an activity that's more human in that, like, we are so conflicted and so weird that the only way we have animals that stay alive in this part of the world, like where they're in record populations, yeah. is to set it up so you can kill them. Yeah. So yeah. like, like they, we figured out some weird loophole. Like we don't want the rhino to die. Hey, we don't want the rhino to die either. So let's go let a bunch of them and we kill like one a week. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if they could get enough rhinos where they could make a case for that, they would be doing that. I mean, they're doing it with lions. They're doing it with everything. Right. With the gazelles. I mean, the, the, all the different animals that you would think of plains animals in Africa, there are record numbers there. Right. Neil Guy. They bring them back to Texas. They're all over Texas yep. now. There's so many animals there, and a lot of those animals were on the verge of extinction. But they're there because people kill them. Like, what a fucking yeah, it's weird. drum. It's weird. Real the weird. bigger issue is, is um, unbroken uh, migratory range yeah. and habitat. The Maasai Mara is one of the few places where they can roam for thousands of miles. But most of Africa now is broken up into, I think there's an area in Cameroon or whatever, but most of Africa is broken up into, I mean, in South Africa, it's all basically, with the exception of Kruger Park, it's all abandoned, um, you know, cattle lots. Mm -hmm. And then they just, there's money in it. So you buy that lot and you just stock it with animals and then you drive around. They, they, it's a sustainable ecosystem, but it's yeah, it's you, weird. You gotta, yeah, you gotta, you still, you do have to cull the the, you know, elephant population and lion yeah. population. Well, when we think about Africa, right? When we say, oh, elephants are going extinct in Africa, like Africa is so big, it's crazy. It's so big. You've yeah. seen the map where yeah. they stuff all the countries inside of Africa. I never like, knew. That was so <laughs> shocking to me. I know. I couldn't believe that. So there could be an abundance of them in one area and none in another right. area. It's like saying like they have a black bear problem in New Jersey, which right. they do. Okay? Do but they? That, yeah, they do. But that doesn't affect us here yeah. in California. Yeah. Like if people just start shooting black bears, you're like, hey, man, there's not that many of those. Why are you shooting them? <laughs>